How's it going, Mama Llamas? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Anomaly, but you can call me Ali for sure, of course. Um, and today I'm giving my legacy founder, um, Antonia Mendez, a brand new makeover. So I've only had this Let's Play going on for about like two weeks, I think, but I just really um, wasn't feeling her original look and wanted to give her a little bit of a change. So I did change her eyes. I didn't change her eye color, but I did give her a new default set of eyes and then I just kind of gave her a new hairstyle and honestly like this whole look that she's got going on right now really really fits who she is as a person she looks like this hipster bookworm artsy kind of gal and that's literally what she is to a T so if you guys haven't seen my um legacy let's play it's called Antonia's legacy definitely go and check it out um there's no goal it's not a goal oriented um playlist or let's play it's literally just a storyline driven let's play that just goes wherever it wants to go but right after this video goes up the next episode of antonia's legacy will be up as well i think it's part four um i'm not quite sure i'm not good at remembering parts when it comes to let's plays but in the upcoming part um it does get pretty heavy so just be warned um but i'm just i'm loving the realism that goes into this let's play it's something that I've always liked doing even before I started recording my gameplay like I would just say like stories in my head like think them in my head <laughs> when I would play with my sims because that's really the only way that I know how to play sims because if I'm not telling a story um, I just feel like there's no point in playing it I know that sounds really bad but I, I really just don't um, telling stories is just something that I love and hold dear to my heart so if you don't know who Miss Anne Antonia is gosh she is one heck of a woman I love her so much she's so pretty um she's so headstrong um but she's also in tune with her emotional side which I love um but I'm not gonna go into the backstory in this video if, if you want to check it out I will have the links below to um her create a sim and the machinima trailer that um preceded this whole let's play so definitely go and check those out they'll definitely help you um, um, and figuring out who this little gal um, is and what she is all about. But look at her, my queen. She looks so much more mature um, in this new makeover that I gave her. I don't know, like the, the other one, it looked like she was like young, like 18 or 19, but really she's 22, 23 range. Um, so this new, these new outfits and the new hair and all that stuff, the new jewelry and whatnot, uh, just really fits her, fits her age and her personality, her aesthetic. She loves to write. Um, she loves books. She's just a very bookwormy, artsy sim. But in the episode after this, which I'm going to give you guys just a little teensy bit of a spoiler, she actually does get to start her own book club, which she's been wanting to do ever since she was a little girl and started to read. Um, so she's really excited about it but she's not doing it alone now I'm not gonna say who is doing it with her but she does have a co-founder of her book club so I'm super excited that she doesn't really have to do this stuff alone but okay first of all I'm in love with her party outfit like she is a queen we stand and I love this um swimsuit too it's really cute uh, but she is just looking like an elegant princess. But yes, she does have a book club now, which is really exciting. Something she's always wanted to do. Um, but next episode, you know, it's it's happy. It's happy. But there is a sad moment um, that, that just kind of sucks and stuff like that that happens in this episode um, shouldn't have to happen, but it does. I'm um, not going to go too much into detail, but just go ahead and watch for yourselves. It will be up very, very soon after this video, but did you guys see that hat that I put on for, like, her cold weather wear for, like, two seconds? It had, like, the bow under the chin. I literally thought it was the most beautiful thing, but I recently went CC shopping and bought a crap ton of new CC, so that really just kind of inspired me to give her a little bit of a new look. If you guys didn't 
didn't see it to the tattoos that she has on her legs and her arms. Actually, I think it's just one leg, her left leg um, and her arms. I think she really does want to get some more tattoos um, pretty soon. So keep an eye out for a new episode that says like new ink or something because I don't know. I feel like she really wants them. And her neighbor. Um, so she lives in San Mishino and the person who lives in the apartment complex next to her has these really sick like colored tattoos on her arms and Tony got really inspired by that. Now I'm not sure if she would want the exact same thing but I actually do think she wants to get some colored tattoos in the future but here I did give her a second outfit. I didn't just want to stick to one so I did go with these pants right here and then I gave her like a little bit of a t-shirt something relaxed. As you can see like her style is pretty much very relaxed but I will see you guys in the next episode of Antonia's Legacy. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and as always subscribe. Bye y'all.